Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Brown and a warm welcome to another How To Cameron channel video. Fantastic. A personal story because I know how much you guys love these types of videos. Fantastic. I want to start off by saying that I'm not making this video because I want to hurt the person I'm talking about. I'm not making this video because I'm proud of the things that I did with this person slash said to this person. I just want to learn like from the past and you know for the past few months I've really been trying to focus on making myself better as a human being and I think that's apparent. I think it's apparent that it's worked. And I feel like one of the best ways to kind of move on as a human being and develop properly is by looking at events that happened in the past, evaluating them and sharing your mistakes. I honestly think that that's the best way to get through it. And right now, you know, I'm doing quite well, you know, I'm making YouTube videos, I'm enjoying that, I'm doing lots of revision and I'm doing well with my A-levels and on top of that, you know, I'm doing my boxing and stuff, everything's going quite well in my life right now and even though like my life's going quite well, I'm still kind of like annoyed at myself just for how horrible I was to certain people, horrible things I did in the past. And I want very much people to kind of like forgive me and I want people to move on from me being this horrible person that I used to be in the past. I want people to remember me or know me. That would be better as someone who's genuinely a nice guy because I don't want to sound big headed or anything, but I feel like I do have a good personality. I really do. I think the issues that I had were related to my mental health and me like not trusting people. I think that was the main reason why I did certain things wrong. Today, however, I wanted to talk about something that happened, you know, a couple of months ago. Uh, someone blocked me from all social media based on how I treated them. And it's a pretty interesting story. I've mentioned this person before. It's not my ex, Misha. It's someone completely different. So I don't want people getting confused, okay? I really don't. And they still block me to this day. And that's probably one of the main reasons why I'm making this video. Like, if they didn't block me, if they actually try to resolve things with me, if we actually resolve things with each other, I probably wouldn't make this video. Uh, but I feel like, you know, because she blocked me, I never really got uh, a chance to like defend myself for a lot of the things I did. And I never really got a chance to explain why I treated her in this way. And this isn't like a serious matter. Like I didn't treat her horrendously. I didn't do anything horrible to her. It's just that I, I just treated her completely different to what I actually thought in my mind. Like I was actually quite nice to her. It's just that I treated her in a way that I didn't want to treat her in. Like I flirted with her. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about someone who I met in August uh, during the time when I was obviously in a relationship with my ex. And it is closely related to my ex. And I understand that some people are going to be like, Cameron, you're obsessed with, you know, everything. You're obsessed with your ex. And you know what? I'm not really obsessed with them. It's more that I just want to make, you know, a video talking about it. I don't see how that's like obsessed. Like if I was obsessed, I'd be thinking about it all the time. And that's just not true. You know, I don't just think about this. I think about a lot of other things. But admittedly, you know, it's the two weeks off. You know, I've not really been talking to a lot of people recently. I've been very much focusing on my studying. So of course, I'm going to reflect on the past because I have the time and energy to do so. Because I'm focusing so much on something that's so boring. You know, my A-levels at the end of the day. Before this video starts if you guys enjoy it smash the like helps me out a lot subscribe if you're new to the channel today and anyway without further ado let's get into this video so i'm going to talk about how my relationship formed with this person so i don't want to go into too much detail because i don't really want to be too personal and i'm not trying to get her to unblock me quite frankly i couldn't care less but i don't like the feeling of people thinking that i'm a horrible horrible person when actually I've changed, like I don't like that feeling at all, you know, and that's a feeling that I'm very new to because when I used to treat people like crap, and I didn't really treat her like crap, that's not really the point, it's more I treated her in a very unfair manner, like based on her emotions, you know. Now how this whole relationship started, I never met her, just me and her, I never went out of my way just to see her on my own, I always went with John to meet her, and one time I went with my other friend called David, the last time I actually saw her, most of the time we used to meet her and also her friend, who is John's girlfriend, and when we first met, uh, John met her on Yubo, it's an app, it's a dating app, I've never used it personally, I'm not for dating apps, I prefer just to date fans, because it's easier, <laughs> I'm joking, okay, <laughs> I've never tried to actually look for a girlfriend before, I know it's crazy, right, I take that in my stride, guys, that's the only thing I've got going for me, god dang it, <laughs> John found her on this app, and, you know, they wanted to meet up, they lived in Chesterfield, 
and you know this girl she was like oh yeah i'll meet you if i can bring one of my friends and we arranged to meet and john wanted me to come with him as one of his friends because me and john are best friends guys this is factual okay i remember john's had a bad relationship with women okay like john's made a lot of mistakes i'm not even gonna lie i remember one time i messaged this girl because she was being a bit mean to john and i was like as john's best friend he's a nice guy <laughs> trying to defend him but yeah me and john we met these two people and he was originally trying to date this one girl you know the girl that he met on the app but actually ended up dating her friend which was pretty i mean non-surprising because i don't want to be mean or anything but like the girl that john was meeting up on this app like she was a little bit different to him like very different to him and i'm not talking about body weight i, I know a lot of people are gonna be quick to go oh so she wasn't fat yes she wasn't fat but like <laughs> i need to be nice in this video i need to prove that i've changed god dang it nah you know they were different in terms of personality in terms of mannerisms they were very different people and the first time we met they didn't really get on what happened though is the first day was really awkward and i, I was talking a lot to this girl because i wanted her to date john you know pretty much i'm a cook that's what i'm saying <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not a cook. Don't call me a cook or a man, look, otherwise I will get triggered. We became friends because I was talking to her a lot, you know, about dating John. And, and everyone worked together. Like, I got on with uh, this girl. I got on with this girl's friend as well, John's future girlfriend at the time. And also, you know, me and John obviously got on and everything was going great. We were all talking, we all had a group chat. And honestly, I, I don't want to lie. They were both quite, like, like... For me, they, they weren't people who I'd ever considered dating. Obviously, one of them literally went out with John in the future. So, obviously, I met up with this girl, like, after, like, my relationship with Isha was really, really bad. Uh, I remember before I was going to go on holiday, my eating disorder was horrendous. My anxiety was horrendous. Every day, you know, I was dreading every meal just because of my anxiety and throwing up, etc., etc. And I honestly had a very skewed up mind. And this is the thing. I, the reason why I'm making, you know, videos are more serious and more personal to me is because I know that if I saw videos like this at the time, they would have really helped me. Unfortunately, you know, there isn't that many videos that are directly like this. And obviously my experience, even though it may seem like really like specific and non-relatable to a lot of people, I do know that to some people, they'll be in a very similar scenario to me. They, you know, they'll have an eating disorder, they'll struggle being with a girl and then they'll turn on them. But then after they've turned on them, they regret doing that. But then it's too late because they don't trust them anymore. You know, the person who they turned on. But pretty much I was with Isha and I, there were loads of things that I really enjoyed about our relationship and I kind of put them all on the back burner. You know, I was very uh, convinced with the idea of I have to leave her, otherwise I'm never going to get better and I'm literally going to destroy myself mentally because I was at a point where I was struggling, like really struggling on a physical level. Like I was starting to like lose weight and you know, when you're not heavy at all, that's a very bad thing and like I could deal with it mentally but when I saw myself sometimes, I was like Cameron... You're gonna waste away, man. Like, I was genuinely thinking that to myself, and that just ignited the anxiety more. So, I was in a very desperate situation. So, at the end of August, when I stopped calling her as much, I used to just talk to her in a group call or not talk to her at all over the phone. I used to just message her. Uh, I very much put all the good aspects of our relationship on the back burner, I deemed them all as invalid. And I just very much focused on getting out of the relationship. And when I met up with this girl, you know, the girl that John found on Ubo. A lot of the good aspects of our relationship, I kind of simulated with this girl because when I was hanging out with her, I wasn't having the anxiety. And I was kind of imagining the good parts of the relationship that I had with Isha with this girl, even though they weren't similar at all as people. Because honestly, I say this not to be horrible or anything, but the girl that I met, you know, that John found in this app, I was not attracted to at all. I, I just wasn't at all. It was ridiculous. Like, she wasn't fat or anything. I tried to trick myself into liking her because I knew that if I dated her, I wouldn't have the anxiety and maybe, you know, she'd be a good person to move on to because I honestly thought that what was going to happen is I was going to break up, you know, with Isha and I thought that, you know, everything was going to go tits up and I was going to, like, ruin my life. I thought that my anxiety would go away but then it would just be replaced with depression which actually did happen but I thought that, you know, seeing this other girl, you know, this would kind of get rid of it. So when I met up with this girl uh, that John met up with originally, I was extremely flirty. I was extremely, 
I was very much a player. I was very close. Like, I, I didn't just talk to her as a friend. I was very obviously, like, she thought that I fancied her and she had a crush on me. She admitted to that. She was all over me. And I think she thought that I was all over her too, but I wasn't. I'm a very good, like, actor simply because I used to be so unsure of my emotions. You know, when you think all the time you're either sad or happy, you can kind of play one of them off very easily. So you can be sad and happy all day, but like, you can still choose to be happy at any specific moment. You can still choose to be sad at any particular moment. And that was the thing. When I was with her, half the time I was thinking to myself, she's so much worse than my ex. Why the hell would I want to go out with her? And the other half time I'd be like, I can't go on the train to meet her. Oh my God, she would care about me. Like It was like this and it, it messed me up. Emotionally, it messed me up. And this is the thing. The thing that I've learned from looking back everything that's happened in the past is the fact that I really, really messed up and I wish I was this smart emotionally than I used to be. You know, academically, I've always been smart. Academically, I've always been able to do well in tests. When it came to relationships, I was so naff, so naff. And I'm really glad that I've learned a lot. And I feel like I'm lucky that right now I'm in an all right position with my ex. Because it would have been very easy for my ex just to be like, yeah, fuck off, Cameron. You know, you treated me like shit. Why would I want to talk to you again? But I'm really thankful to my ex. Really thankful that, you know, me and her, we can move on from the past, but still be friends. That's a really good feeling knowing that I know that I messed up, but I can, I can recover. I can still, you know, be friends with this person who was amazing to me. This person who I genuinely admire and care about as a person. It's great. But then with this other girl, the girl that I'm talking about in this whole video, she blocked me. So it's completely, completely different. So pretty much after I broke up with my ex, um, I, I continued to lead her on. I, I seemed more interesting to her. I became very, like, touchy. And I, I don't want to... Uh, and this is the thing, right? Like, I wasn't touchy in the aspect of, like, groping her. I never did anything like that. It was more just an aspect of being playful and she was very into it so it's not like it was one-sided or anything i mean technically it was one-sided she was enjoying it i wasn't i was just doing it because you know i missed doing that before with someone else though you gotta realize and honestly i really tried to fancy her i really tried hard like i don't want to hurt her by saying this but i literally remember like i would look at her instagram like almost all the time and i'd literally be thinking to myself please just fancy her i couldn't I just couldn't. And it wasn't even because of her physical appearance. It was more how she acted. She was always quite lazy. Not in the aspect of she didn't go to the gym every day. Like that's not lazy. As in she just didn't do anything with her life. She actually had issues with eating as well. I think it was more around people though. Not just like as an eating disorder in general. Uh, so that I kind of resonated her on. But then I realised that her life's messed up because of that as well. I realized that she was lying about a lot of things that she was saying about this eating thing and that made me distrust her. And generally speaking, she just seemed too easy. So I was never really that interested in her. Yet still, you know, we hugged one day. We hugged every time we left each other, even when I was dating Isha. And this, this disgusts me because it, it's crazy to me how I was like this. I kept meeting up with her and I never met up with her like alone. Uh, there were some times that it was just me and her because obviously... John and his girlfriend, new girlfriend, wanted to actually obviously talk to each other alone. Um, and the times it was just me and her, it was very, like, it was somewhat similar to when I was with, like, my ex. But it was only, like, it was really weird because obviously I wasn't having my anxiety. So I kind of tried to picture the times that it was just me and her. Like, I tried to imagine that it wasn't actually her, it was my ex. Which is horrendously messed up. But like it was all right i guess and then like one day i said to her i liked it when we hugged and she was like yeah i did too you know pretty much at the end of the day she was she was all over me and she thought that i fancied her when i didn't and i kind of was like oh yeah i'd date you but like not now because people just see it as a rebound and i made a video with her when i went to bmq probably one of the most hostile videos i've ever made i'm gonna take it down thinking about it because i just hate that video so much but pretty much I made out like she was my wife, my girlfriend, whatever. And obviously the wife thing was a joke. But people thought that it was real. I got lots of comments saying you've downgraded. And back then, I, I didn't... I didn't care about the emotional side of it. I saw people judging me and saying, oh, this is a rebound. Oh, she's uglier than, you know, Isha. And I, I saw that and I was like, they're right. 
what am I doing? And that, that's so messed up. I kept meeting up with Shannon. Oh, fuck, I said it. I kept meeting up with this girl and we kept, you know, talking and everything was all right. But generally speaking, when I was with her, like the days were only good because I was making jokes. Like the one thing I have going for me and the one thing I've always had going for me is that I am mean, genuinely a funny guy. Not because I'm smart with my humor, but just because I'm so like... I don't care about what people think about me. I don't care about doing things that are outlandish. I can do anything to make people laugh. And quite frankly, even if a joke isn't funny, I think people look at me trying to attempt doing a joke and see me as pathetic and laugh because of that. You know, that's honestly how I think people see it. But every time I was with her, you know, it was funny, but then it was mostly just me making it funny, you know? And then what happened is I went up, I met up with her. Instead of just being with John, I went with David, and David is one of my friends, uh, he's, he's, he, I've known him for quite a while, but like, again, as I mentioned before, I used to be a prick, like, I used to never see him as a friend, I literally used to hang out with this guy every day, like, literally every school day, and I didn't even see him as a friend mentally, if you guys didn't think I was that mentally screwed up, that proves it, when you make mistakes in the past, and you learn from them, and you realise how dumb you were, you loathe yourself, you loathe yourself so, so much, you really do, and I'm so glad that I've learned from them, like, that's, at least I've learned from them, that's all I can say, but pretty much, I went with David and John, and David wanted to date this girl, the girl that wanted to date me, and I was horrible, I was so horrible, I always said to her oh you should date david that's something that i always used to do even with my ex i always used to say to her you should date john even though we were literally dating because i was just an insensitive prick pretty much but then after that you know i was saying that to obviously this girl and she fancied me so she was getting angry about that and i was saying this to her in calls and everything when david was there and it was a bit awkward for david as well over message as well and i remember one time you know i talked to david i was like she's not interested in you, and David, you know, he took it seriously, and he asked John, he asked the girl himself, and they both were like, no, she likes you, David, uh, they're friends, I don't know why Cameron's chatting Schmidt, and then when they actually met up properly with me there, she showed no interest in him at all, she only showed interest in me, and after we met up, you know, I was flirting with her, obviously, because I was just egotistical, you know, I wanted that, ego boost you know just by flirting with a girl who fancies you even though you don't fancy them apparently that's an ego boost a lot of guys like that i i personally don't anymore i think that's messed up now thinking about it well pretty much after that i think she realized that i was flirting with her just to play with her emotions i think she actually realized that which is wrong you know i shouldn't have done that and i think she also put a lot of that anger towards me against david and because of that she blocked me and david <laughs> Because I was playing with her emotions, I was toying with her effectively, I was flirting with her, I was being touchy, whatever, whatever. And she was enjoying it at the time. If I actually fancied her, she would have, you know, fell for me completely. She would, I would have been able to date her easy peasy lemon to squeeze you guys. I promise you, but like, at the end of the day, like, she she didn't like it because everything I was doing to her was invalid. It was I was just doing it because I, I don't know, I didn't care not to. Like, it, it was messed up and... I do feel bad for that, and she turned on David because she blamed David for me and her not really being together, I think. I think she thought, oh yeah, when David was put in the equation, Cameron went from saying, oh yeah, you know, I want a relationship with you, but not for a while because I don't want people to see it as a rebound, to now him literally flirting with me, yet showing, like, no interest at the same time. I think she was very confused and conflicted by that, and she realised that since David came into the equation... I very much didn't care about her. Like, I cared about David dating her more than me. And this is the thing. David's a nice guy. He He's not even unattractive or anything. But I feel like when you have your mindset on one person, you very much... You, you can't accept anything less. Anyone less, I should say. And right now, I think the roles are reversed. God dang it. Like, for me now... I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to anyway. Like, I talked to Isha, obviously. And I know for a fact that I, I could get a new girlfriend, I know for a fact I could talk to new girls, but I just don't want to, and it's not even like a physical thing, it's just I don't want to talk to other girls, and I don't know why, I think it's just because of the trust, and how me and her, me and my ex had so many good memories, I think that's why I want to be closer with her rather than other random girls, and that's it pretty much, and you know, I messed up a lot with this relationship with my ex, uh, and also with this new girl, and I really wish the scenario was completely different, you know, I shouldn't have met up with her in the first place because I was with someone else and I should have resolved my issues with her rather than 
deliberately go on my way to try to get back at her for apparently causing my anxiety and harm. Anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here. Hopefully it didn't come across as too like, oh Cameron, you've ruined your life lol. <laughs> I don't want people to think I've ruined my life because right now I'm doing fine. You know, I'm still talking to Isha and everything. She did insult me. She did things wrong to me as well. She called my channel dying even though I literally made like 330 quid, you know, last month off my channel <laughs> working one hour a day on it so like you can call my channel dying but like whatever you know <laughs> like isn't that 10 pound an hour isn't that 10 pound an hour isn't that way higher than minimum wage i don't know okay i make videos because i enjoy making videos but i feel like people can understand money easier in summary i'm not happy with the things i did with her i'm not happy with how i treated her and i wish she never blocked me not because i want to talk to her but just because I feel like I should have explained myself better to her. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. Maybe this video turned out quite crap because I'm wearing literally a black jumper in a black room with daylight. So all you can see is my white ass face. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Smash like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new today. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.